بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من حلقات English for Arabs النهاردة ان شاء الله الفيديو هتكون من اربع اجزاء الجزء الاولاني معاني الكلمات بالانجليش المفروض اللي احنا منبصش على العربي لازم نحفظ الانجليش بالانجليش ونحط الكلمة في جملة ده مهم جدا هنحفظ بس الكلمات الجديدة علينا لو كلمة متكررة ونعرف معناها مش لازم نحفظها الجزء الثاني هيكون عبارة عن شرح الكتاب بتاع انترتشينج الطبعة التالتة والطبعة الرابعة متشابهين جدا الطبعة اللي احنا بنستخدمها الطبعة التالتة بعد كده الجزء التالت هيكون شرح درس الجرامر الموجود جوه الكتاب اللي هو فيرب تو بي هيكون بالباور بوينت الجزء الرابع هيكون عبارة عن معاني الكلمات للورك بوك Now let's start Exercise 8 Vacation Vacation Holiday Cruise A vacation in the river Voyage A vacation in the sea So voyage A vacation A vacation in the sea Trip Short journey Beauty contest Beauty T soft D T soft D Beauty contest Competition For choosing the most beautiful Competition for choosing the most beautiful Beautiful T soft D Prize Gift A model To model To be a model on the cover of the magazine To model To be a model Hawaiian Surf Magazine Hawaiian Surf Magazine Dishin Dishin Incredible Amazing Picnic Picnic To have fun in the nature Picnic To have fun in the nature Contest Contest O A American Contest Contest Competition British Not El Britani Contest Competition Exercise 9 The whole time All the time Foggy Foggy Full of fog O A British Foggy Full of fog Istanbul The capital of Turkey Also Istanbul برضو في لحجة تانية في الامريكان بنطاق Istanbul 11 A postcard Terrific Wonderful Great Jewelry Jewels Go on a tour To visit different places To visit different places Go on a tour 12 12 The words of the passage Sculpture that look like people Caves Large underground holes Caves Large underground holes Spa A health resort Spa Health resort A vacation place Where people become healthier Spa Health resort Meditated Thought of only one thing To calm one's mind Calm L silent Vegetarian food Food that contains no animal products Food that contains no animal products Vegetarian food Snorkeling Snorkeling Swimming with a mask and a tube To breathe underwater Snorkeling Swimming with a mask and a tube So short Snorkeling Swimming with a mask and a tube Rafts Rubber boats filled with air Rafts Rubber boats filled with air Wildlife Wild animals and birds Wildlife Wild animals and birds Unit 7 Exercise number 8 Unit 7 part 2 Interchange 1 Now look at the picture What do you see? 
swimming a person who's swimming this one what's he doing a wave big wave he's riding on the wave so this is called what waves riding waves riding surfing surfing waves riding surfing contest contest competition contest competition competition for surfing competition for waves riding this is surfing board this green one surfing board a surfing board a board for surfing this is sport called surfing surfing sport surfing contest competition for choosing the best surfer surfer this is a surfer a person who rides waves exercise number eight conversation how was your vacation listen and practice let's listen and practice page 47 Exercise 8. Conversation. How was your vacation? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Listen again. Exercise 8. Conversation. How was your vacation? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. How was your vacation? Celia and Don. What are Celia and Don talking about? They are talking about Don's vacation. Where did he go? Don went to Hawaii. Did Don go alone? No, he went with his cousin. Did they have a bad time? No. They had a great time. Don and his cousin had a great time. How long were Don and his cousin there? For how long? How long did they stay in Hawaii? About a week, for one week. Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? No. No, it wasn't. The weather was cloudy not sunny the weather was cloudy most of the time it wasn't sunny don don and his cousin went surfing every day the waves the waves were amazing waves were amazing the waves were wonderful What was the best thing about the trip? The trip, the vacation. What was the best thing about the vacation? Something incredible happened. Incredible, amazing. Something amazing happened. Imagine what happened. Hmm. You won't believe it. You will not believe it. Believe it. Yeah, sound. Believe and it. Believe it. Yeah, sound. خلي بالنا فينا صوت اليا ساون عشان في اخر كلمة اخر الفيرب بليف اي وبادئ بحرف متحرك بليف ات يو وونت بليف ات يو وونت بليف ات ايماجين وات هابند 
Try to guess what happened. One was about to sink, and Don quickly jumped over the surfing board and saved him. Maybe there was a shark, and the shark was coming to attack Don. So Don, Don rode a big wave and ran away. He escaped from Narudes. He escaped from the shark. He saved his life. Maybe he won the surfing contest. He won the surfing competition. And he got a big prize, a big present. Let's listen to number B. What happened? Page 47. Exercise 8. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So, tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest, and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. After I won the contest, a man asked me to model for Hawaiian Surf Magazine. I'm in next month's edition. Can you believe it? A model. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So, tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest, and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. After I won the contest, a man asked me to model for Hawaiian Surf Magazine. I'm in next month's edition. Can you believe it? A model. Quickly, write the answer. Don went surfing every day. He won a contest and a man asked him to model in a magazine. Don went surfing every day. He won a contest. He won the competition and a man asked him to model in a magazine. The man asked him to model in Hawaii magazine Exercise number 9, Grammar Focus, Past of Verb to Be. Verb to Be in the back. Exercise 9, Grammar Focus, Past of Be. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Past of verb to be. Verb to be, am is are in present. Present am is are. I'm a teacher. He's a student. We are friends. We are nice. You are a doctor. They are engineers. Present am is are. Past was where. Was where in the past. Questions. Where were you? Were you and your cousin? Were your parents? Were they? Where? You? We? They? Was? He? She? It? Was the weather okay? Answer? Yes or no? Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Was the weather good? No, it wasn't. Was the weather bad? 
Yes, it was. Where? Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes. Yes, we were. Were your parents there? Were they? Parents, mom and dad, they. Were they there? No, they weren't. There, not here. How long? How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Here, double H questions. Double H questions like how, what, where, when. We don't say yes or no. You have to answer. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Excellent. How long time? How long were you away? I was away for a week. How long were you away for a week? Contractions? Shortage. Shortage. اختصارات wasn't, was not, weren't, were not. Now, let's check this PowerPoint presentation before we answer the questions. Verb to be. Verb to be, we use verb to be to describe. Describe, describe people. Describe things. Example. I am, I am a student. He. He is a teacher. He is a teacher. He is a teacher. She. She is Ahlam. She is Shayma. She is Heba. We. We are friends. We are friends. You. You're nice. You are nice. Nice, good person. You're good. You are good. You are nice. They. Hmm. Look at this. They are doctors. They are doctors. They are doctors. So after verb to be here, doctors, teacher, job. Ahlam, shayma, heba. Name, nice, good, adjective. So, after verb to be, I am, he, she, it, is, we, you, they, are, plus adjective, name, job. Like, I am a student, job. He is a teacher, job. They are doctors. She is Ahlam. Name. She's Ahlam. She's Heba. You are. You are nice. Adjective. You're nice. You're good. Past of verb to be. Present. Am, is, are. Past. Am, was. He, she, it, is. Past, was. We, you, they, are in present. Past, where. Negative, negative, wasn't, weren't. I wasn't. He, she, it, wasn't. We, you, they, weren't. Where, weren't. Examples. I am a supervisor. Supervisor. Coordinator. Supervisor. I was a teacher. But now I'm a supervisor. He's a teacher. He was a student. He's a teacher. He was a student. She's good. Last year, she was bad. Now, she's good. Last year, she was bad. We are married. We were single. Last year, we were single. 
Now we are married. Last year we were single. You are. You are an engineer. You are an engineer. You were an engineering student. You were a student. Now you are an engineer. You were an engineering student. They are nice. They are nice. Short. They're nice. They're nice. They were bad. So that means nice, good. They are nice. They were bad. Yes, no questions. Was. Was the weather okay? Yes, it was. Was, he, she, it, plus adjective, job, name. Was he nice? Yes, he was. Was she a teacher? Yes, she was. Answer, yes, he was. Yes, she was. Yes, it was. Was Ahlam a doctor? No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Was Muhammad a teacher? No, he wasn't. No, he, she, it, wasn't. Was not. Yes, no questions. Where? Were you a student in Cal University? Yes, I was. Were the doctors in Ain Shams hostels? Yes, they were. Were the doctors in Al Asr Laini hostel? No, they weren't. Where were we? Were they? Were you? Were we? Were they? Were you? Plus adjective, job. Answer, yes, no. WH questions. Question word what, where, when, why, how, plus was or where, was he, was she, was it, where, were we, were you, were they. Example. Where was he? He was in Alex. He was on vacation in Alex. What was the weather like? What was the weather like? The weather was good. The weather was okay. It was sunny. How was he? How was he? He was fine. He was okay. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. 1. How long? Your parents in Europe. Your parents, mom and dad, they. How long? Where? How long were your parents in Europe? They? They were there for two weeks. They were there for two weeks. They in London the whole time? Where? Were they in London the whole time? No, they weren't. They also went to Paris. Number one answers where, 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 weren't. Number two, you in Los Angeles last weekend, LA, Los Angeles, LA. Were you in LA last weekend? 
Were you in LA last weekend? Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. How was it? How was it? It was great. But it was foggy and cool as usual. But it. T, soft D. Between you and I. But it. But it was foggy and cool as usual. Number two answers again. Where? Wasn't. Was. 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 Number three. You away last weekend. You. Where? Were you away last weekend? Yes, I was. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Really? How long were you there? How long were you there? For almost a week. I was there in business. For almost, for almost, L silent, for almost. For almost a week. For almost a week. I was there in business. L silent, because there is A before L. The answers, number three, where, was. Where was exercise 10 discussion discussion on vacation a group work ask your classmates about their last vacations ask these questions or your own ideas in this exercise you will ask your friend some questions about the last holiday then he will answer in the past. Example. Where did you spend your last vacation? I traveled to Sharm el-Sheikh. How long? How long were you away? One week. Who were you with? I went with my brother. I was with my brother. What did you do there? What did you do there? I swam in the sea. I swam. What did you do there? I swam in the sea. I went surfing. I built sand castles. How was the weather? The weather was okay. It was sunny. It wasn't cloudy. It wasn't foggy. It was warm. How was the food? How was the food? The food was great. It was delicious. In Sharm el Sheikh, there are wonderful restaurants. Do you want to go there again? Would you like to go to Sharm el Sheikh again? Sure. Of course, Sharm el Sheikh is a paradise. Exercise 11. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacation. Complete the chart. In this exercise, you write Jason, Barbara, vacation place, the place, where, enjoyed it, yes or no, reason, why, why Jason enjoyed it, why Barbara enjoyed it, ready, let's start to answer, let's start to listen. Page 48, exercise 11, listening. Welcome back. 
Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Listen again. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Jason? Vacation place. Vacation place? San Francisco. Did Jason enjoy it? Yes, he enjoyed it a lot. Reason? Why? Beautiful place. Nice weather. In San Francisco, the weather was pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice, very nice. And it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. Barbara. Let's listen to Barbara. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day. And I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. It was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day. And I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Barbara? Vacation place? Home. Home, H-O-M-E. She stayed at home. She stayed home. Did she enjoy it? Did she enjoy it? Yes, she enjoyed it a lot. Why Barbara didn't travel? Because she was broke. She didn't have money. She hadn't enough money to go anywhere. Did Barbara enjoy staying at home? Yes, she did. She went to the gym and she lost three pounds. Her vacation wasn't bad. Pounds doesn't mean here Egyptian pounds, like one pound, two pounds, three pounds, money, no. Pounds, a measure of weight. She lost weight. Barbara lost weight because she went to the gym every day reason lost three pounds exercise 12 writing a postcard look at the picture what do you see some people they are playing music. They are singers. They are singers. They are wearing big hats. Palm tree. Where are they? In which country? Let's read. Read this postcard. Dear Richard, greetings from plus place. Greetings from Acapulco. I am having a great time. Yesterday I went on a tour of the city and today I went shopping. 
I bought some beautiful jewelry. Oh, and last night, I heard some mariachi singers on the street. They were terrific. Terrific? Wonderful. They were great. That's all for now. Love, Casey. How can you write a postcard? Postcard? Like a letter. But you have a picture or photo, like this. Dear, plus the name of the person. Dear Richard. Dear Ahmed. Dear Ibrahim. Greetings. Greetings from, plus the city or the place. Greetings from Sharm Sheikh. I am having a great time. Last week, yesterday, two weeks ago, and then you write about your last vacation. You will write in the past, was it yesterday, last week, two weeks ago? That's all for now. Yours, sign your name. Yours, signature. Love, signature. Love, Ahmed. Yours, Ahmed. Yours, sincerely, Ahmed. You write your name here. Dear, plus the name of the person, you are going to send for him the postcard. But down you write your name. You sign here. Introduction. Greetings from Sharm el-Sheikh, Hurghada, Egypt, Cairo. That's all for now. This is the end. In the middle, you write the body, the topic. You write here the topic. في البوست كارد اكتب دير واسم الشخص اللي هرسل لي البوست كارد Greetings from plus place I am having a great time بعد كده بدي اكتب الموضوع عملت ايه في الاجازة in the past That's all for now Love and sign your name قم كاتب التوقيع This is gonna be homework. Write a postcard to a partner about your last vacation. Then exchange postcards. Do you have any questions about the vacation? Let's have exercise number 14. 14. Reading vacation postcards. Look at the pictures. What do you think each person did in his or her vacation? I have here three pictures. First one, you see what? Sculptures. Greenland. What's this? Erona. Erona, not English. This means hello in English. This is an island. Let's read the first postcard. Anita, I can't believe my trip is almost over. I came to Easter Island just two weeks ago. I was with a group from the university. We stayed with families that live on the island. We studied the, sto we studied the stone called Muay and the cave paintings. Paintings? Drawings. I really learned a lot. I'm tired, but I loved every minute of my trip. I liked every minute of my trip. Take care. Goodbye, Margaret. P.S. Note. On Easter Island, Erona means hello. This word means hello. Anita. So, and Margaret. Who wrote this letter or this postcard? Margaret. To, to who? To Anita. Where did Margaret go? She went to Easter Island. When? Two weeks ago. Did she go alone? No. She was with group from the university. Where did she stay? She stayed with families that live on the island. 
why did Margaret go? She studied the stone called Muai and the cave paintings and the cave drawings. She learned a lot. Did she enjoy her trip? Yes, she enjoyed every minute in the trip. She enjoyed every minute of her trip. Take care means goodbye. Take care, goodbye. Picture number two. Second postcard. Look at the picture. Relax in Hawaii. Sea. Mountain. Palm trees. Maybe trees. Wonderful place. Hi, Lewis. My Hawaiian vacation just ended. And I'm very well rested. And I'm very well rested. I spent my whole vacation at a spa. Spa resort. Every day for a week. I exercised. Did yoga. Meditated. And ate vegetarian food. So every day for one week. Exercised. Like do aerobics. Did yoga. Meditated. To think only in one thing, to calm yourself, to relax, and eat vegetarian food. Vegetarian food, food without chicken, without meat, without fish, just vegetables. I also went swimming and snorkeling, snorkeling, diving for a short time. I feel fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Love, Debbie. Who wrote this postcard? Debbie. To who? To Lois. Where did Debbie go? Debbie traveled to Hawaii. What did she do in Hawaii? She spent the whole vacation at a spa. She stayed in Hawaii for one week. She exercised, did yoga, meditated, and ate vegetarian food. She went swimming and snorkeling. Was Debbie happy? Yes. She was very happy. She felt fantastic. Here. I can say hi plus the name of the person hi or the name and then said you can write greetings from the name of the place greetings from Hawaii you write the topic at the end I'm looking forward to seeing you I'm looking forward to seeing you soon or see you soon Love, the name of the person. Picture number three. Look at the picture here. Greetings from Alaska. Deer, like a deer. It's called Caribo. Caribo deer. Greenland. Wonderful place. Alaska. Where is Alaska? Alaska is in the USA. Alaska is very, very, very cold. Dear Michelle, Alaska is terrific. Alaska is wonderful. I just returned from a trip to the Arctic National Wildlife Refugee. Arctic National Wildlife Refugee. Refugee, a preserve. An area to protect animal, a preserve, protection area for animal. The animals are living there and they are happy. They are free. There were six people on the trip. We camped, we camped outside for 10 days. Camp, make camping. 
Then we took rafts to the Archaic Ocean. Rafts, small boats. Archaic Ocean, frozen ocean. I saw a lot of wildlife. I saw a lot of natural places, including some caribou. I saw a lot of wildlife. I saw a lot of animals, birds, trees, including some caribou. Now I'm going to Anchorage. Anchorage, this is the name of place. See you soon, Kevin. Who wrote this postcard? Kevin. To who? To Michelle. Where did Kevin go? Kevin went to Alaska. What's Alaska like? Alaska is terrific. Terrific? Wonderful. Where did he go? To? He went to Alaska to the Archaic National Wildlife Refugee. How many people? There were six people on the trip. What did they do? They camped. They camped outside for 10 days. Then they took rafts to the Archaic Ocean. They saw a lot of wildlife. So wonderful natural places. They saw trees, birds and animals. Number A Read the postcards, then write the number of the postcard where each sentence could go. So in this question you will write next in this question you will write next to every sentence the number of the postcard. This is number one, number two, number three. After that you write the name of the person. One minute, try to answer. I lost five pounds and feel terrific and feel wonderful. This is postcard number number two. Spa. This is Debbie. She went to spa. So, I lost five pounds and feel terrific too. This was kind of dangerous, but we got there safely. It was a very dangerous trip. Dangerous trip. Not safe. But, we went there safely. We went safe. Postcard number number three. It's a tiny island, tiny, very small. It's a very small island, about 2,300 miles west of Santiago, Chile. Island, is silent, tiny, very small. Picture number one, postcard number one. Now number B, talk about this question, explain your answers. Which person learned a lot on vacation? Who learned a lot on his vacation or her vacation? Margaret. Margaret learned a lot on her vacation. Why? Because she was with a group from the university. She stayed with families that live on the island. She studied the stone stitches called Moai and the cave paintings, the cave drawings. So she learned a lot. Question number two. Who had a vacation that was full of adventure? Adventure or, adv or adventure mean risk. Hmm. Danger. Kevin. Kevin. Number three. Who had a very relaxing vacation? Who had a relaxing vacation? Of course, Debbie. Debbie has a relaxing vacation. Relax in Hawaii. 
Devi, she spent her, oh, her vacation at a spa. She exercised, she did yoga, meditated, ate vegetarian food. So she had relaxation. She went swimming and snorkeling. Her vacation was fantastic. It was relaxing vacation, a vacation for relaxing. Which vacation sounds the most interesting to you, for you? What is the best vacation? Would you like to travel to Alaska, Hawaii, or Easter Island? Tell your friends what is the best place to visit. That's the end of Unit 7. Thanks to God. And now we'll take the vocab book for the workbook. Homework. Please, number one, listen well, this wonderful video, study by heart, keep the words by heart, نحفظ الكلمات كويس جدا, معنيها بالإنجليش مش بالعربي, نحط كل كلمة بالإنجليش في جملة عشان نستخدمها, نحاول اللي احنا كمان, في فيديو ورا كل يونت, مفروض الفيديو ده موجود في Cambridge. نخش على جوجل نعمل سيرش نكتب Interchange 1 Unit 7 Video هيطلع على طول الفيديو دوت تبع جامعة كامبريدج هيعلمنا ازاي ان احنا نستخدم الكلمات دي في الحياة العملية Wish you all good luck Workbook Unit 7 2. Art Exhibition Art Gallery Art exhibition, art exhibition, art gallery. Art exhibition, art gallery. Park, garden, amusement, having fun. Five, research paper. Seven, excited, very happy. A river taxi, a boat. The floating market. The floating market, T soft D, floating, British American floating, the floating market, ruins, nine, definitely, absolutely, the national park, the national park, meerkats, meerkats, Switzerland, Switzerland, Canton Europe. Switzerland, a country in Europe. Beach, sandy comfortable shore. Sandy comfortable shore. Beach, sandy comfortable shore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Shukran lil mushahada. Min fadlik, ishtarik fil qanaa. لتصلك آخر إصداراتنا